Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and happy birthday if today's your birthday. Today we are doing a really fun styling video. I actually asked you guys on Instagram to give me some occasions that you had coming up that you may need help getting dressed for and I picked out outfits for you. I do want to mention that my neighbor was playing his music really loudly the whole time I was filming this video so I am super sorry if you hear that in the background of all of the clips because he was doing it the whole time. He actually still is. I can sort of still hear it. So apologies for that but that's that's really all I have to say and let's just go ahead and get into it. So here is the outfit that I picked out when thinking about what I would wear to an upcoming concert. This person in particular mentioned the weekend so I thought that this would be sort of cool for that. I actually literally did wear this to a concert when I went to the Revolve Justin Bieber H. Wood event. Um, this is what I wore. You guys have definitely seen me in these pants before. I love them. I think that they are so good for dressing up or dressing down, which makes them just really versatile. These with a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers can definitely be dressed down, or as you can see, they can be dressed up as well. They're also extremely comfortable, super soft. It's not like I don't know, it doesn't feel like plasticky or sticking to my skin or anything. I also just love the cut of them. I feel like they look really great on me. It goes a little wider around the ankle area. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling to say that. <laughs> and then we are going a little bit more simple on top, but in the back here, we have this lacing detail, which is really fun. Again, just adds a little bit more detail. And then for shoes, totally up to you and what you'd be comfortable in wearing to a concert. I paired them with these booties, which I love. They're really cute and they have this cool silver toe detail, which I'm super into. But obviously a pair of sneakers will look great with this as well. That way you can be super comfortable for as long as you're Going to be there and dance your little heart out. I just think this is sort of the perfect fit. It transitions really easily from dinner to a concert, maybe going out afterwards, and for sure sort of one of my go-to looks right now. Oh, and then as far as a bag goes, I picked out this one. Definitely a little dressed down, but I just think that this is super convenient for a concert. It keeps you hands-free, also super secure on you. No one can like take anything out of your bag without you realizing. You can wear a crossbody like this or just on your shoulder. That way it doesn't cover up the fit too much. And this is the look. Vegas, baby, that's right. Here is what I would wear to Vegas if I was going like tonight. You guys may have seen this dress in my videos before because I've talked about how I need to go back to Vegas literally just to wear this dress. It is so cute. I am so obsessed with this. This little like sparkling mesh detail is so good here. I'm obsessed. Have a little sparkly clutch. I think a silver sparkly clutch would probably work a little better. I'll link an option below for you, but you still get the vibes. I think it's good. And then I just am obsessed with these heels. Again, if you've seen my videos, then you probably know this already. They are just so cute. I love the bow detail in the back. Well, <laughs> everything. I'm obsessed. Uh, so just a little pop of color in the heels, why not? I got so many compliments on these the last time I was in Vegas. And this dress is actually surprisingly comfortable. This part is not itchy over here, which I'm really sensitive to stuff like that, so love that. And the material is so soft, I just, ugh. I am dying to find a place for this dress because it is too good. Anniversary dinner. This one was especially fun for me to think about because it's actually almost mine and Connor's anniversary. Actually, when you're seeing this, our anniversary was yesterday, four years together. Really crazy to think about. But um, I decided to go for a little all black fit, which you won't see me in all black that often, to be honest. I don't know why. I just don't wear that that often. But little black skirts are definitely in for spring, and so I sort of took inspiration from that. You could for sure do a white top instead, but we went all black, you guys. I absolutely love the way this fit comes together. The blazer just gives you a little bit of coverage, but when you take it off, you have this really beautiful sort of sleek look here. I also love the ruching in this skirt, how it comes up a little bit higher on the side, just like shows slightly more leg. I think that's really fun. Cute little strappy black heels, again, keeping it really simple. This is just a really pared down outfit, I think. There's nothing too crazy going on, but it just looks really beautiful and elegant. And then for a bag, I thought that maybe this sort of shiny bag that I have here would look great with this. Brings in a little bit of texture with the shine and again, just sticking with the all black because that's clearly the vibe of this outfit. Why fight it? 
a brewery crawl. You know I love this one because I love me some bar hopping, some day drinking. It's always good. This is definitely a classic fit that you would see me out on a Saturday in. Simple pair of blue denim with a fun pop of color on top. This plays into the corset trend, the green that's coming in. I mean, I just love a bright color right now. I can't get enough. Despite the way that this rack is looking, which is very black. <laughs> I threw on a pair of booties because these jeans are really long and I just love the way the pointed toe sticks out at the bottom. I think that that's really cute and elevated, but a pair of platform Converse would be with this as well. I don't think you can go wrong. And again, since it is a little bit more casual, I'm going to go with this bag here. I just think really cute, easy. Let's get a pair of sunglasses too. Black sunglasses. Just so cute, fun, fun for someone's birthday, but not over the top where you're gonna be drawing too much attention to yourself. You definitely want your friend to be the star of the show on their day. It's also comfortable enough where you can be running around all day. And again, a good transition from day to night. I'm also just assuming this is during the day. It obviously could be any time. <laughs> but very easy to go to brunch, to lunch, to dinner in this outfit as well. So I took this one more as a sports event in general, and clearly I'm leaning a little towards baseball. <laughs> Never been to an indie race before, but I think that you can get the general idea. I think simpler, the better here. There is nothing that could ever be better than a pair of denim shorts and a white tank top. I'm sorry, it's just classic and honestly good for any sort of summer activity. Put on a pair of just plain white sneakers with this, something that I don't mind getting a little dirty. I just want to be comfortable when I go to a baseball game or some sort of sporting event. Hat for your favorite team, and I just threw my hair up in a little bun in the back there. Again, if it's going to be warm, you might be sitting in the sun, getting your hair up might be nice. And then on the other hand, if you feel like you might get a little chilly and you need a jacket, this is the one that I picked out. With Windbreaker style, really casual, little oversized, and I think goes with this outfit so well. I can almost guarantee you're going to see me in this exact outfit at a baseball game this summer. All pink for brunch, baby. You know it. I just could not avoid doing an all pink outfit because it is just my favorite thing right now. I don't know why I'm so into wearing the color pink, but I am. <laughs> so here we are. You actually may have seen me in this outfit if you watched my recent closet cleanup video. And if you haven't, go watch it, please. And thank you. <laughs> I love the way these two pieces work together. The like dark pink in here really matches the pink in the pants well. Um, pink framed, I mean pink lens glasses. I actually thrifted these, but I will try to find a similar pair for you. And for shoes, you can definitely switch it up depending on what your day is looking like. If you're going just to brunch and you're gonna be doing a lot of sitting, why not throw on a pair of heels? I actually did some red heels. I just thought the juxtaposition between the red and the pink was sort of fun, kind of into it. And for a bag, I don't have an all pink bag, so we're just gonna go with my favorite little black purse. I use this 90% of the time, it's just so cute. Holds everything I need. Oh, and you can also layer on this pink shirt too. If maybe you're going to be outside or you feel like you might get a little chilly, you can always layer and I just think this is so, so cute. Yay, those are all the fits. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more styling videos like this, definitely let me know because I love sharing outfits with you guys. And this was especially fun sort of picking out things specifically for you. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Happy, happy Friday and I will see you in my next video.